Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your girl Jay Lovely here and I'm here to make a video on how I prepare my shrimp for shrimp tacos. So I have all my seasonings, everything here. So all you need to do if you're interested is just follow along. First, I'm gonna heat up my skillet. And I'm gonna take some of this Kroger um, nonstick canola oil spray and just evenly coat my skillet. We don't want anything to stick and we just have to wait for this to heat up a little bit these are all my seasonings i'm going to be using oh i almost forgot gotta have my lime juice so right here i just have some defrosted deveined and peeled shrimp um, I got them from Kroger or Food for Less and they're already ready to go. So we just wait for the skillet. See, it's already starting to get hot. We just wait for this to get hot and we're going to dump these in and season them up. And that's all it's going to do because it takes literally no time to make shrimp. So this should be hot enough already. We're just waiting for it. What we want to hear is that sizzle and we're about to hear it. <laughs> so let's pump it in. Okay. Already ready. Now, since... It's not a lot in here. I like to gather them all together in the middle and add our seasoning. And I'll tell you what I have. I have a little Lari season salt. A little sprinkle of that. Uh-oh. My uh, Tony Sacheray's Creole seasoning. Have a little of that. It's gonna look like a lot of seasoning, but I like my food well seasoned and I'm big on spices, so yeah. Some garlic powder, of course. Add a little of that, some onion powder, some lemon pepper. I'm gonna turn this heat down because this is almost ready already. Um, this Trader Joe's chili lime, if you can see that, I love this stuff. It's kind of like Trader Joe's version of tahini, but it um, it's a lot better. And it doesn't have that harsh kick that tahini sometimes has. A little bit of that. Gotta add cumin. Gotta add cumin if you want to give something authentic like Mexican flavor. And I'm doing tacos so I want a Mexican flavor. Add cumin. A little bit of that. Um, a little chipotle. I didn't use black pepper since I'm using chipotle. Which is like a, spo um, a smoky spice. So we don't need a lot of that. Just a little kick of that and a little accent. Some people are funny about MSG. I'm not. I use it sometimes, not all the time, but I like it on my seafoods. And then, I can turn it back up a little bit. And it's almost ready already. And what I like to do, I like to go in with a little lime juice. You can use fresh lime, but I have lime juice already here. So that's that. And just cook your shrimp. And it smells so good. Oh my God. Like, you can hear it. You hear it talking to you? That's how you know that it's, it's that one. Now, because we added that lime juice is going to kind of make its own sauce as you can see and that's fine just go around with it and your shrimp are done your shrimp are done you don't want to overcook your shrimp so when they kind of turn into that c shape that means they're perfectly done if they turn into a full tight circle then that means it's overcooked so we got them right perfectly done all done And I'm back so I finished my shrimp and set that aside so now I'm preparing my shells which is simply the Kroger brand white corn tortilla shells if you can see that I just have two that's a recommended serving size and that's a hundred calories per two 
So it might look a little crazy, but what I like to do is kind of give that fire roasted grilled kind of effect. So I just simply take my shells and put it on the burner. Don't worry, my stove is clean as you can see. But just let it go a few seconds on each side and you'll see how they start to turn. See, sometimes they stick a little bit, but it's all right. You'll see the bubbles start to form a little bit, and that's how you know you need to flip it. You see how it has that little char around the edge? That's what I'm looking for. All right, that's the first one. Now doing the second one. And just let it go a few seconds. Of your, that what's wrong with me? You have to worry about the contents of your taco spilling out. But oh, see that one's perfect. That one the shell was kind of shabby, but this one is perfect. And sometimes, as I was saying, sometimes your contents might fall out, but I don't mind that because I might not finish all that shell anyway, you know. For those of you who do know, I've already had, you know, I've had uh, BSG surgery, but yeah. So that's that part. Now let's go to the assembly of the tacos. So I'm back. So right here I have everything measured out. I'm having two tacos, as I said, so two shells is 100 calories. I'm just going to lay those out. And I measured out three ounces of shrimp, which equals out to about 16 shrimp, because they're small, as you can see. So just take those and put those in the middle of our shell. I might not even finish that many. And that's that. put that over there because that's hot <laughs> and then we're just gonna put on our toppings now me this is two ounces of lettuce but I'm not even gonna use all that so I'm gonna use about one ounce of shredded lettuce Ooh, that looks so good and then I have my sliced red onion and that's an ounce of that. I love onion. It's an ounce of that. And then this is two ounces of diced Roma tomatoes. And half an ounce of reduced fat, Kroger reduced fat cheese. I'll get the package so you can see. This one right here, Kroger reduced fat Mexican style shredded cheese. This is only um, 80 calories per quarter cup. And I'm just using half an ounce, so I'm good. <laughs> Put a little bit of that on top. that then I like to go in me personally not everybody's flavor but I go in with La Costeña green salsa this is everything zero calories for one tablespoon so you could pour the shit on if you wanted to because it's no calories and I go in with a little bit of this because I like spicy it's, although sometimes sometimes with this it's a hit or miss it's not always spicy like sometimes you get it and it's like damn they put a lot of jalapeno in that but sometimes it's not spicy at all this one happens to be not so spicy this batch i don't know i think it's homemade and this right here is my little secret ingredient it's my special lime sauce my cool lime sauce that i make homemade 
I didn't enter that in the video because I didn't know I didn't know if people wanted to see that but it's only 60 calories for two tablespoons per two tablespoons I should say and I just give a little drizzle of that on top baby when I say this is everything everything now this is new for me because I know you guys are gonna think she's crazy But this is new for me. Um, I happened to be having a salad one day and I was craving some pepper rings or pepperoncini, some people call them. Banana peppers, other people call them. And it just worked out. And now it's like when I make my shrimp tacos, I want banana pepper rings on top. It is so good. Don't think I'm a, a lunatic, <laughs> but it is so good. And I just put a few of those on top. Got to get them out with the fork because, you know, they'll get air all over the place. But yes, I know it looks crazy. I know you don't think Dorita's a psycho. What is Jay Lovely tripping on? I'm not tripping. I'm telling you, just try it and you'll be like, oh my God. It just brings a tanginess to the, the taco. And that is all. And there you have it. Shrimp tacos, lettuce, tomato, low uh, reduced fat cheese, my cool lime sauce made out of sour cream, but I can't tell you all my seasoning, that's a secret. And La Costina green salsa and banana peppers. And I will enter the caloric value for this whole meal in this video. All right, until next time. I'm about to get into this tacos. These tacos are about to be fire because they are because I can cook my ass off. <laughs> but until next time, you guys, just like, subscribe, holla at me. Let me know what you like. Let me know if you want to see more cooking videos from me. And until then, keep it cute, keep it glowing, and keep it blessed. All right. Bye.